first guest is Peggy Weber, a very spiritual lady, and she's a spiritual photographer. But her photographs are a bit different to the snaps that we take. Hello, Peggy. Hello, Paul. Lovely to see you. And you. Peggy, you're what we call a naturally gifted, born clairvoyant spiritualist, for want of a better word. Yeah. You're born with a gift. Yes, well, I wouldn't call it a gift. I'm born with spirit. You're born with yeah. spirit. How... What was your first experience of seeing a ghost or a spiritual person? It goes back to very early days when I was a child in Ireland mm. and we all used to play down by the river with our gam jars and catching little minnows and stuff like that. Yeah. And I used to have a secret place in the rushes, you know, the, the, the greenery, bushes and stuff that grows on the side yeah. of the bank. That, I had a little secret place there as a child and my friends would say, oh, we've got to go home, we've got to go home. And I said, oh, don't go home. But they did go home, and I went off to my secret place. Yeah. And I used to be surrounded by these things I used to call magic lights, like flashing, like star lights flashing yeah. all over the place. And they were my magic lights, and I always called them magic lights. I used to go home and tell my mother, but you know, you do this to you in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> so you learn from an early age to keep it under wraps. Yeah. But my mother was an amazing lady, and she would say, if there was any people around, she'd say, don't be quiet. When I go home, I had to tell her all about it. So when did you realise you were different to other children? Or did you think it was, did you think it was part of growing yeah, I've up? I've always kept it. It's, it's never left me. My little magic lights are now what we call today orbs. Yeah. Which are, they've always been with me, so... But at a young age, did you think all children could see this? I thought it was a normal thing. Yeah. I thought it was a normal thing. And the other thing that happened in those early days at the same time, I remember once when I went to a funeral with my mother, and she, you're all dressed up, and she's got you by the hand, and I said, Mammy, why is people, why are they all crying? And she said, do you see the lovely box over there? Mm. The person from the village is in that box. And I used to say, no, they're not. There they are over there. <laughs> and they were just standing with their relatives, and they were not in the box. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. Fascinating. It was amazing. When I look back on it now, yeah. at that time, it was just like a... So it's a... Well, we, we, we call it a gift anyway. Yeah. So it's been with you all your life? Yes. Yeah, so. absolutely. So do you, do you work as a medium or psychic? Or no. You don't? No. I just take things as they give it. I don't class myself as having any power to do anything. I don't close down or open up what we call it. Mm. They're free to come and go whenever they yeah. want. And I love it like that. You, but you must have brought a lot of comfort to people yes. over the years. And that, that does something to my heart. Yeah. Because this is what it's about. Yeah. Giving love and reassurance they, they about... They found a way of showing their loved ones, look, we are okay and you'll be okay also, or anyone that yeah. goes home, we'll all link up again. So there is definite life after life. Absolutely. Now, Peggy, this intrigues me. Oh. You call yourself, or you're known as, a spiritual photographer. Yes. Now, can you tell us what... I never put that brand on myself. This I, I didn't think you did. No. Because I don't think you like labels and what have you. I don't. I can't stand them. Because none of us, I, the way I see it, all mediums, whatever way we're given a job from spirit, we're given it in different ways. Mm. It's up to all of us to bring it together and give yeah. comfort to everyone without any pedestals or... But having known that you do take photographs... Yes. Or, or you, oh, yes. You, you explain it. What are these spiritual photographs? Well, they're what we call orbs today. I, I, it is full spirit as well, but yeah. the orbs are where they all come from anyway. Yeah. And there's so much depth to an orb. The way they travel, the speed they travel at, the lights they can show. They can One orb, one white orb in the sky can show you so many different colours from one. Because you're interrupting you. I shouldn't do yeah, that no, to you, you're fine. You take photos of orbs... And I've noticed there's, it's like broken down to different sections, orbs, mist, or it looks like electroplasm to me. Yes. And um, relig religious subjects as well. Yes, oh, absolutely. But can we start I've seen with them with my eyes as well as the camera. Now, can we start with orbs? What is an orb? An orb is a way the spirit can connect back to the airplane, the way I see it. Really? Yes, it's an energy. So do we all turn into orbs? Yes. <laughs> do we? Yes. It's the way we one day will come back to, sh to reassure our loved ones. Yeah. It's, it's like my little grandson, he calls them windows. Uh -huh. And sometimes he'll come in and say, it's not granddad in the window, it's another man or another woman in the window. 
and then he describes them, and I know who they are. So these orbs, I mean, if you blow up these photographs, you can see faces. If you zoom in on them, yeah. people are missing so much, and people that so many people think they're dust. Mm. They need to look seriously at this, what they call dust, yeah. because they've got so many loved ones around them. It's unreal. So Zoom in on them. They come back as different colours as well, don't they? The colours are amazing. What, the co what do they signify, these colours? The colours, now it's like, for instance, a pink. Like, uh, we had an experience last week and I was asking a lady in spirit to show me if she was in the room to give me the colour pink. Mm. And this amazing pink orb, instantly. Yeah. So I knew that this was female. Oh, right. Or you get, sometimes you get blue for a male. Or yeah. It can mean so many different things. But they're just showing you, they're enjoying the connection. So it's like them in a way, showing off their, of what they can do now. But you see orbs in your Oh, you've everyday, lived with them every, in, every day, day, every, every life, single day. You? Not so one day goes, every single day. So have you seen any today? I have, this morning when I woke up. Yeah. On the ceiling again. I saw them in my life. So would that be a family relative of yours? There'd be lots. There's so many of them. Yeah. There'd be so many relatives, you, me, any of us have lost. They're all there in their little lives. But people like you can see them. Yes, I think a lot more and more, more people now are seeing them. See, I'm a medium, yeah. but I don't see orbs yet. Is true? Yeah, no, yeah yet. exactly, I know. <laughs> you wait. <laughs> You'd have yes. to give me some advice afterwards, you I think, Peggy. But what's the mist you felt? The it, mist it, is it, also orbs. It looks like fog as well. Yes. You can take a picture and it can be totally clear. Yeah. The second picture, straight away, boom, there's the mist, misty people, but they will leave orbs in the mist to show you. Right. This is well, it's a manifestation of an orb. That's the way I put it. Right. So the orb is like a yeah. spiritual person coming yeah. down and manifesting yes. the mist. Now, ten years ago, nine years ago, my husband passed away, and I was cleaning the sink in the in the in the bedroom, and it was half nine in the morning, and the whole room I couldn't see anything with white mist. Not one thing in the room. I couldn't see the wardrobes. Mm. Then it cleared, and there was Tony standing there with my little, our little grandson yeah. um, that we lost. He put the baby down and put his arms out. And I said, you're home, babe. He was so real. It was amazing. But that was the op opening and manifesting, like the mist, and how he walked. So the, the mist could be manipulated to form a shape? Yes. If you like. Yes, absolutely. Right. Yeah. So how come is it that you could take these photographs and I can't? Only they know that, because this is given from them to me. Or could they give it to me as well? <laughs> I think you're going to be very shocked tonight, probably. <laughs> I'll have to go out and take some photographs yes. afterwards. I just going to say something about orbs. When, my, I, when Tony passed away, yeah. uh, we used to come down to Felixstowe a lot. We had, we all, our favourite walk was along the, the front mm -hmm. for orbs. Well, the orbs used to be astonishing. And we had a favourite place where they used to turn up in hundreds. Anyway, this particular night, we were down there, nothing turned up. And I said to Pat, I said, God, it's really strange you're not turning up tonight. Let's go down to the old fisherman's place, right? And we'll see if there's anything down there. So we went down there and there was hundreds. Yeah. The next morning we got up out of bed and the sea had broken the wall where we were half an hour later. Mm -hmm. So if we had stayed there, they knew mm. we'd be caught up in the sea so they wouldn't show. Right. They wouldn't show because they wanted us to get out of there. They, they knew I'd move. Uh -huh. There was nothing coming out. Imagine our surprise when we saw the, the sea had broke the wall, yeah. come across and ruined a cafe. Uh -huh. We would have been caught up in that. That's why they showed so many down at the old um, fisherman's place. Because yeah. the new ones they start turning up, I won't move. Yeah. Oh, I see. So what's your connection to Felix Tully? My daughter lives here. Ah, right. Now, you have orbs, you have what I call the mist or the fog. Yes. For want of a better word. Yes. But you also... Well, you don't photograph it, it, it turns up in your photographs. Yes. Religious items. Oh, they're, yes, they're fantastic. Because there's, in, I think it's a tree you photograph, and there's an angel. No, it's, it's actually, I'm going to say what it is, because I know what it is. It's Jesus. It's the crucifix. I saw an angel when I looked at well, it. Well, people will see, and they'll, they'll inter what they want to get from it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know sure. it's Jesus. And what had happened, we, I, I was invited over by uh, some friends of mine, an elderly couple in... Suffolk, yeah. and said we go to a place called Borley Rectory. Yes. I'd never been there before. We went in the middle of the day, and as she says, a beautiful old church there. 
So when we got there, the church was locked. I said, it's typical, you know, all the churches are always locked. Took a picture of the building, and from under the door inside, in the middle of the day, was white mist coming out from under the door. And Harry said, Peg, look. He said, did you get that on camera? He said, I've even seen that. Anyway, we, I said, well, look, come on, let's go home. Since we can't get into the church. So yeah. when you come away from there, we were going across a narrow bridge where there's water and the trees. That, it's like at the back of the church, but I'm not familiar too much with the area. All of a sudden, I said to Harry, stop the car, I need to get out. I need to just get out for a few. He said, I can't let you out here, you get killed. Mm. I said, Harry, please stop the car, I need to get out now. I'll follow you, just, just pull in. Yeah. I got out, click, click, back into the car again, and I hadn't looked at the camera until I got back to their house. Anyway, he said, did you get anything after all that? Because Barry was wanting to get going on this stuff. Well, when I saw the crucifix and the second photo, which I've never displayed, it's got 12 people, misty people, on the bank, mm. which I think are the 12 apostles. When you zoom in on it on the big screen, mm. you can see the... Oh, the stigmata. Yes. Really? Mm. And this is an image I saw with my eyes. That's why I know I personally yeah. it's Jesus. So when did you first learn you could take these photographs? I, I, the funny thing is, you said that. I, I've been getting stuff on camera without even knowing I was getting it on camera. Yeah. Years ago, when I look back on old snaps, yeah. oh, these I see. little lights. Well, about, how long is it? About 30 years now. Have you? Yeah. In the days of negatives? And, uh... I've got so many CDs now yeah. that, that I've had things transferred onto. And, what do you call these little cards? Memory cards? Yeah. Well, I've got thousands. So you could make a book, couldn't you? Well, I'm hoping to do that before yeah. I'm up there myself. Yeah. That would be nice if it was made <laughs> yeah, into a book. Yeah, I have to, because I've been given this from Spirit to do something. Now, you've been, you've been invited to America. Yes. And you've, you, you gave a talk over there. Yes. How did that happen? Well, my daughter came to me one day and she said, Mum, she said, I've just been looking at the um, website or whatever it was. And she said, uh, there's a prophets conference, a scientist and prophets conference going on in Palm Springs, you should apply. Mm -hmm. And I told Pat, I said, forget it, it's America, we're not going to stand a chance. Yeah. Anyway, six people worldwide got chosen with spirit photography, and I got chosen. Mm -hmm. And my son-in-law came with me. Yeah. And we arrived, and I was so naive, Paul. And I said to Kevin, I said, Kevin, let's go down and see where the hall is, you know, thinking of halls over here. Mm. Well, we saw this gigantic building. <laughs> Kevin said, come on, pig, the plane is still on the runway. Oh. I said, we can't go now, Kevin. Yeah. He said, why not? Because I got nervous as well when I saw the size, the best size of it. I said, because all the lads are here. I call them lads. Mm. He said, where? And I said, they're down by the stage. I took a picture. The whole stage was full of orbs. Was it? So they were all waiting. <laughs> I said, look, I can't go. So what's your reaction to the, like, from the audience to what you said? Brilliant. It was really brilliant. Mm. And afterwards, the way they wanted the chats about him. Yeah. And they were intrigued by the, uh, the clarity mm. of the images. Now, you give, you give talks, you give lectures. Yeah, I like that. I like talking to people. You do events, you take people out to different places. I'm starting to do that now. So what happens? What's going to happen at least? What I want to do now, I want to get intrigued. I've, I've got a few things in the pipeline, but I want to involve more people with their cameras. Mm. So we'll all go out together and we'll all discuss what each one's getting. Uh -huh. But do you think everyone will pick up something? I think so. Yeah. I think they will. Because I imagine your energy would help. Well, they'll all be there. They'll, 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 they'll know what's going on and they'll yeah. know why it's going on. Yeah. And I'll always treat it with respect and dignity. So why, why, why you, Peggy? Why do you think they've given you this gift? Yeah, I have thought about it a lot. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm really pleased they did. Oh, I bet you are. <laughs> it's like I go to a graveyard and all these orbs, these orbs are astonishing. Like you said before, the colours are astonishing. Yeah. And I'm down at a graveyard in the middle of nowhere, one <laughs> at half eleven on my own. They'll even light the way. Mm. Like you might be in the pitch dark, want to step over something, and all of a sudden you go, a circle of light. So anyway, I came back out to the car one night and I said, right lads, if there's any of you here that thinks you're coming to win you, forget it, because we're full up. Mm. <laughs> Just talking to them, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Took a picture and there they are, all in a straight line, showing me the stay where they are. Good grief. Oh, it's just, the, the connection is second to none. And I hope it always stays with me until the day I die. So Peggy, you have a website. And yes. if, if they, people if look it up, you've got you've photographs on there. Yes. The orbs, the mist, yeah. and the religious things. 
plus a bit of film of your American trip. Yes. For more information about Peggy and her work with orbs and her photographs, go to www.peggyrebberspiritlinks.co.uk. Peggy, it's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. You've been amazing. Thank you. <laughs>